So yeah, for this week, you've completed another deal for Nigel Asim Gunnar. How are you feeling about getting the deal done? Feeling good about that because he's one that we identified a little while ago. Uh, he came come over here, was put in the shop window by having the Waterlooville. Uh, quickly, I think he got player of the year there. Uh, then he quickly went to Portsmouth. Uh, and then Leighton Orient uh, paid an undisclosed fee for him. And, um, and we liked his energy, his power, his pace. He's got all those things that we think um, we can help him um, in his game. There's things that he's, he's still got to do in his game. Uh, we say he's a bit like Paul Pogba. He says he's more like Patrick Vieira. <laughs> either, either one of them will do. Um, but uh, he, he, he can get about the pitch. He's, he is very energetic. And uh, he's another lad that, that can play. And uh, if you let him have his uh, range, if you like, then uh, he can be a big plus for us. And already he's another one, uh, I think I've signed three of these that, at the moment, that uh, I've got every chance of being player of the year. You know, they're that type of player that supporters enjoy watching the energy and the ability. Obviously, you had 11 players leave. But if you look at our midfield and centre midfield, you must be really pleased with the strength and depth there. Yeah, we have, and a couple of those centre midfielders, including uh, Nigel, can play in other positions, whether it be wing backs or centre backs or, or midfield. You know, if I'm playing three in midfield, then we've got to make sure we've got four or five. Um, if we're, obviously, if we're playing a four, then it's not. But I'm, I play both systems, and I've got to get midfielders in that can play either a four in midfield or a five if you include the two wing backs. With, um, with Harry Pell in the middle and, and Nigel now, that could be a really dynamic centre midfield partnership, couldn't it? Yeah, it can be, but you know you mustn't forget the others with Stoss and Winnie. Mm. You know, they, they're, they're, all, they're all players and they'll all get their opportunities. Uh, competition's good anyway. Uh, Dawson can play midfield as well. Uh, as well as out on the wing or, or wing back. So competition is good because it makes training a lot more competitive. It makes games a lot more competitive because you know that the, the manager can quite easily leave you out after a bad game uh, and, uh, and bring someone else in and you might not get a game for a little while. So, um, and of course, the, the, the bigger the club, the more competition there is anyway. So they've got to get used to used to that and, uh, and make sure that they're, they are competing and they're not shrinking violets and uh, let somebody in front of them just get on with it. Um, so, Nigel's the third confirmed signing of the summer and this is the first time he's spoken on video since before the, the first two were signed. Quick word on Kevin Dawson and Jamie Grimes. Yeah, well Kevin Dawson I know very well. I brought him over from Ireland when I was at Yeovil and we had a couple of promotions and he, uh, he, he did very well for us. He's, energy, that's exactly what he is, and uh, he's a great lad as well. Uh, Grimes, he's had a great grounding at Dover because they, they always have good defenders, um, they don't let too many goals in every season. He was captain there, good left foot, he's, he's another one that we're giving an opportunity in the league and he wants to take that with both hands. Um, he's known by a couple of our players, Stoll's played with him. Gavin Crow worked with him at Kidderminster, so he comes highly recommended. But of course, we've watched a lot of his games and we feel that he will be a good addition uh, to our team and our squad. Just a final question on Nigel. Um, you talk often about wanting to sign characters and people you're willing to bring around to your house uh, for a cup of coffee. I'm assuming he fits that mould perfectly. He does fit that mould, and uh, it's not my house they all go around, it's normally the chairman's. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to make sure the chairman has nice lads around his house. Um, and that's important because if you've got the right personalities and the right characters, it will gel. And they'll gel and they'll be mates. You know, you've seen that with my teams and my, my last team, you know, here. And they were all mates and it was very hard when some of them had to leave. Uh, very, very hard. And, uh, but they were all great lads and you, you, you can get success on getting the right people on your bus. And, and that's, that's really important for a club like ours. Okay, cheers, guys. No problem.